Good morning, everyone. Nisha of Aligned Pretzel Yoga. I have a little story for you today, and this is going to be a hard one to tell, um, but it's important. Uh, so I'm talking about why we shouldn't wish we were like somebody else, basically. So um, warning, this story has a lot of information from my childhood, and my family is probably not going to be super happy about the things I'm going to share, but it's happening. <laughs> So, yeah, get over it. <laughs> so somebody said to me, oh, hi, Natasha. So nice to see you. <laughs> somebody said to me, Aisha, I wish I could be like you. Like, I wish I had an ounce of your gratitude. I wish you had, like, just a little bit of what was in your heart. Like, what you're doing is so amazing. Like, but you can have that. I I got that myself. I changed myself. Hey, Natasha. So here's my little story from angry child to manifester. <laughs> so when I was a child, I got angry so easily. Like, like I had anger issues. Okay. If I didn't get my way, I'm just getting my way, but like if things didn't go right, I was slamming doors. I was punching walls. Um, I think I scared my mom of how like angry I was. Seriously. She was like, what is wrong with this child? <laughs> um, and then, so fast forward to the teenage years, then I was chronically depressed. And this is the part where lots of people do not know. Um, I saw therapists, therapists upon therapists, and I was on medications, um, and nothing really helped. And there was no real reason for it. And they're like, oh yeah, chemical imbalance in the brain. Yeah, sure, whatever. So here's the scary part. <laughs> I tried to kill myself more than once as a teenager. Yes, this is true. Um, I absolutely broke my mother's heart by doing this. Um, but at that time, I had no compassion for what she must have been going through as a mother to, you know, what that must have felt like for her. Um, I could have left that part out of the story, but I choose not to because I, I believe it's important and you'll see why if you stay tuned. Um, the only time I had a plan to end my life was the only time that I was like truly happy and giddy uh, as, as a teenager specifically. But then things start to shift. You notice some things. Um, so for example, my, my mom met my stepdad and uh, he started saying, Nisha, to be happy is a choice. I'm like, you're crazy. You either wake up happy or you don't. That, that's how it is. <laughs> that was my thought at the time. Um, so I thought he was nuts. Um, but the biggest factor in this whole change was, one, yoga. Two, mindset. About kind of changing this. Because people who know me today would be like, you were angry, you were depressed, like you're such a happy person. I know. Um, so, of course, I am grateful that I did not end my life and that my mother cared for me. <laughs> um, but so I want to fast forward to today because don't wish you were like somebody else. Don't wish you could have what they have. Um, you know, you can manifest this yourself. This is totally possible. I am living friggin' proof. So I'd like to fast forward to today. Obviously, I'm a pretty happy-go-lucky person. Um, I manifested last week an extra three grand. Okay, this is not in my business. This is in my personal life. So those of you who are out there struggling and wishing you could have what other people have, whether it's monetary, whether it's things, or it's personality traits, you can have it. You just have to decide that you want it and then take your action steps to get there. So this one is, um, you know, it's a kind of a short life, but I thought it was important to t show this transformation. You can go from somebody who's really angry and depressed and wanting to kill themselves because that was me, to somebody who is positive and being a force for change in the world and manifesting the life that they want, little by little, right? So what's your choice going to be? You have a spectrum here. 
and you have choice. We always have a choice. We can always choose a new story. <clears throat> so stop wishing you were like someone else. Get off your butt and do the work. So decide how you want to make shifts. Where do you want to make shifts in your life? And it's going to be better. Where are you going to manifest the life you really want? Um, so if you're ready to make shifts in your life, send me a message. And I would be happy to tell you how I made shifts in my life, how it led to who I am today, and help you make shifts in yours. Because it just feels so good to actually genuinely be happy.